What's up guys? Just want to ask before the start of this video if you would um, press that like button and um, consider subscribing to the channel um, where I can bring more of these more often and where I can start doing some live videos of our setups and um, some of the projects I got going on. Um, so if I can get to a thousand like a thousand subs um, I can start doing some more of that stuff um, and I'll show you the whole process live um, on how the tent washer works and on tent, tent jobs. Um, and things like that, anything y'all want to see. Um, so consider subscribing and um, press the like button for me. Thank you. What's up guys? So I just want to jump on here and show you a couple of the projects I've been working on. Um, some of the projects I've been working on for efficiency, um, a lot of us have been cleaning the shop. Um, we also just had about 60,000 square feet worth of a tent. Um, that just came back from a job um, and that square feet wise is the tent itself um, you add more for that for the um, including the walls um, but anyway we had all it come back at one time so we are um, running this washer pretty hard and quick um, with 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 my space and only three three spots to hang up right now um, we can only do about one load of tents one load of tents at one time um, in here. And then, uh, as far as the hanging room, and then we do about one more load of walls that I can hang down this rack right here. But as far as the drying space, I only have room for one load of fabric of tents and then one load of walls. Um, sometimes I can squeeze um, two loads of walls um, if I use this space up here, like I have going right now also. Um, so anyway, we've been working on that and running through these, these tents pretty quick. Um, these were some long-term tents that um, all came down at the same time. So um, this is a big, or this is about uh, half a pile um, right here I have. Um, we had this pile, um, it was all the way over to this area. So about half this pile is gone. Um, I've got some clean walls up here and I got some clean walls hanging up down there you might have seen. Um, I've got three 20 whites here that are clean um, but this is all dirty in this area this is all uh, dirty mostly walls with a 30 by 60 here all these walls here are dirty uh, all this is dirty we walk under this tent here I also have um, this whole pallet of walls this whole pallet of walls uh, and these are carts they're, they're on wheels so we can roll this around um, I got this whole pile over here also so all this is dirty this is um, two 40 by 60s right here that needs washed um, all this is already cleaned uh, needs to go back on the shelf I've got uh, the two more here that are, needs to go back on the shelf there's the walls I was talking about that needs to be cleaned or that are cleaned um, I got my 60 wide up here that needs cleaned. Anyway, I got a couple of 80 wise down, 80 wise down here that came back from the job also that still need to be cleaned. Um, but I, like I said, I put those on the shelf just to get them out of our floor space. Um, with this floor space here being filled up, with any floor space being filled up, it's hard to move around your carts and other items getting more jobs out. Um, so we're trying to get it off the floor as quick as possible so we can get to these tables and these chairs or these chairs and stage. Um, anyway, so we've been running the, the washer um, pretty hard, um, trying to get, 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 get these things caught up. Uh, a little harder right now with the um, winter um, being a little bit cold, being colder, um, with it not being able to dry as quickly as we want it to be. So some of, some of our tents, tents um, are hanging for about a day and a half to two days to dry. Um, so that, that does kind of slow us up on that. Um, summer um, they're, they're dry within you know 30 45 minutes um, if we need them to be um, so I've been working on you know we, we rearranged our chairs um, got those lined up not a big deal there um, we're working on sanding sanding down tables um, so that's why all my carts are gone here they're all outside most of the tables right now are up against the wall um, because we're, we're going through them and picking out the ones we want to uh, sand and restain um, and then marking the tables, uh, a, the A stack and a B stack and a C stack of tables. 
um, on our carts. Um, we'll get them all back in carts which we're done. Um, anyway, so here are tables that we are um, about to redo and restain. I mean, uh, stand down and restain. Um, so a couple of your big scratches. This is about how they get before we are ready to uh, restain them. Um, here's another pile. So this is about how bad they get, and we, we try to start um, when we get time to restand them and restain them. This is a table that um, we just got done. I've got uh, what four tables right here that um, we just got done with. Um, so the color is not great in this one. I picked up the wrong stain, the wrong color stain, um, and this is what it looks like. It's just a dark brown. Uh, it's a solid stain. So you can't see the uh, grain marks in it. Um, wasn't the best choice, but I'm not gonna waste the stain. So we're gonna use it. Uh, most of the time they have tablecloths. Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, out here, I'm gonna show you, we've got um, where we're gonna be standing down tables. So here I've got um, several more tables right here that we're gonna, re that we're standing, working on standing down. Yeah, we're gonna stand these down still. Uh, we're still standing down. A lot of these have been standing down already. Uh, so this is what we're working on. But with this table here, I'll give you, let me turn you around. We'll show you, I'll show you this. This, this table here, I'll try to show you with this light uh, issue we got. But, uh, so this, I sanded it down. I got the stain off of it. Um, and then what I did and what we're working on trying we're uh, working on right here. We're, we're gonna, we torch the tables. So, yeah, we light that torch up and we burn the tables. Um, that's, that's showing the grain and it's, um, it's uh, making it weatherproof um, and it looks nice still. So we're thinking about doing several tables like this and seeing how it turns out this year. Um, so they, they, look, they look nice like this. If we get more of a consistent, um, torch on it it'll work better like so we got a little bit too much burnt here and if you can tell with the light uh if it focus we got a little bit burnt too much here but overall um the table looks pretty good um so it looks pretty good no, no scratches in it um scratches are out and just torching it um see we sent them down to about like that or about like this and then um this is this one's better we, we'll get that one a little more but this one, um, about, about like this, we don't get all the stain off, but we get all the poly off. And that's when I went ahead and torched it. Um, the reason we're looking at torching it is because that way we can, we can uh, sand it off. Hold up one sec here. All right, yeah, so the reason we're looking at torching it is because we can sand it real quick and then we can go ahead and torch it. Um, and torching it will is a whole lot faster than staining it and you don't have to deal with the poly now the stain i got inside I just did it's got the poly included so it's it's weatherproofing it as you stain it so just a one process deal um and but it still cost me i think i paid like 45 dollars for that can plus the time in doing it uh in staining it and then space as far as letting it dry so as torching it you stain it or you, you sand it you torch it and then it's ready to go back on the shelf right then it can go back, it can go out for rental um, right then if you need it to. Um, so the process in that is a whole lot quicker. So anyway, we're, gonna, we're probably gonna go ahead and torch some and see how it works out this year, see how it, they look, see how it works out, um, see how it resists the weather like it says it should, um, and see if anybody has, has any comments on it. So yeah then if it gets like instead of you scratch if we do a couple like this and get scratched all we gotta do is torch back over it um and then i guess eventually if it gets too bad scratched up we'll, we'll sand it back off and um have to torch it again if it gets that gets that process so anyway we'll, we'll be trying that um and going through that um so that's one of our our uh things we're working on um, I also been um, welding a little bit today, uh, so I be, I fixed this little project. I fixed our one of our forks broke down here, so I had to weld that back on and get that fixed. This is a cart with a broken arm. 
I'm going to have to weld weld back. Um, so those, those those two things are just, and it also fix this red this red dolly back here also uh, right there somewhere. Um, anyway, I fixed red red chair dolly back there also. So those things are just just uh, upkeeping the um, upkeeping the materials and keeping the uh, better better dollies. So as far as the more efficiency and things I'm doing, I'm going to. We've done this with a couple of our other ones. Uh, it's out on a job right now, so I can't show you the already made one. But anybody who has, who has a West Coast style uh, frame, or probably any other frame also, if you can do this in variation. Um, but here's the West Coast style crown that we use. Um, so when we hang lights in this in a tent, when this is up like this, and we're hanging lights in this tent, what we do is we take a zip tie and wrap around this bar, which will hold lights up down here. Um, when you're hanging a chandelier um, with this style or the eight-way crown, which is for uh, 12 by 20 or 30 by 30, um, a full full tent, um, it's got the eight ways off here. Uh, anyway, with, when you get the crowns and you're hanging a, a chandelier or disco ball, something in the very center of the tent, uh, with this crown here, it's hard to hang it off the very center right here. So, to make it easier for us, we either hang it there or we can hang it here sometimes. Um, but if we have that customer that wants it dead center, and a lot of times we do, uh, we have to take a zip tie or a piece of string and wrap around here and there. Um, on the bottom, on the bottom do that. So you can hang that chandelier from the very center, um, right here. Uh, and that, that process is pretty hard to do sometimes because you have to lift up, lift, push the fabric up. You got, got to slide your zip tie in between the, fa the, uh, the fabric and your pole. So that process is kind of hard to do it, especially if you're working here because that's where a lot of your tension is at, right through here. So to make this process quicker, um, I cut some pieces of metal and I see if I can get this suit up here. Um, I'm going to weld these pieces right here. And I dropped it. Uh, right across here. So I've got within the middle of this I can hang a chandelier straight off the bar. I can zip tie it if I need to or I can just get a carabine clip and um, clip it right to it. Um, so I have that plus lights you can hang off very center. You can have anything off the very center of your tent or off the, the crown of the tent at least. Um, and then, then on the inside of this, this circle, um, like I said, on this crown, I've got about um, two inches to play with as far as not touching the fabric. So I can put this here. I can push all, all my excess cord as far as for a chandelier up inside the uh, circle. And then I can get it plugged in through there also. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna weld one like this one, and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an X. Weld one that way and that way. Uh, uh, here you go. Uh, this way and this way off this crown. I said you can probably do this with um, a different style of a tent also, uh, but this I got the West Coast style, and um, that's what mine looks like. How I'm going to do it. Um, I also do it to my uh, my top tees. I Again, all the ones I've done is out, so out right now, but here's my top tee. So if this is sitting here, I, um, if this is sitting like this uh, on the tent, I do want a bar right across this area, and you got something else, else to tie to. So I do that. Um, what I also have done is I've taken my, my corners, and I'll show you it first. I've taken, here's a West Coast style corner. Um, this is how it looks. So when you have this up, you you take a strap and let me set this down here. So when this is up, you take a strap and you wrap it around this pole, um, this side pole here. Wrap it around here, and that's how you stick it down. Uh, to make it easier, what I've done is I've taken a pair ring and welded it to the back of this crown or this, this corner. So that way I can take the, the, the uh, strap and hook it to right here. There are some companies that's already making them this way. 
Um, maybe it's their new style, um, or what, or maybe they've always done it. But these corners that we that we've had forever now ha did not come with the pairing on them. So this isn't necessarily a new idea. Maybe the other the other's not either. But um, uh, I have seen this in in different catalogs for different companies, and um, that's kind of where I got this from. So there's that. So anyway, I've been doing that to make that easier. Um, the strapping down process easier. I'm doing the hanging process. Um, and I'll work on several other things as far as more carts here soon and uh, better dollies um, and things like that. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. I've uh, been working on. This has been a little bit long video, but um, those are all things we're, we're working on. Uh, I haven't had time to get out and post a video. Um, because I'm also still, you know, researching and ordering bags and uh, um, buying wheels for dollies and things like that. I've just been busy um, trying to um, run the cruise plus plus doing this. Um, anyway, that's what I've been doing. That's been up to just a little shot of what I've been doing. So if you got any questions or uh, thoughts on the uh, torching the tables um, or anything else I showed you, any better ideas, anything else, uh, just let me know and. Uh, I will um, um, look at your idea. So um, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.